When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, "I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life." John eight twelve. Devotional. A bright light. Think a. Think back to Genesis one when God created the world. One of the first things God said was, "Let there be light." Genesis one three. Just like God created the light to shine upon the earth, Jesus came as a light to all mankind. Jesus says he is the light of the world. He also points out that light is necessary for finding your way in this world. Jesus is the light that guides men and women into true life. Jesus is not only the light that illum- illuminates our path in life, but he is also the one who illuminates the rest of the world. It is by Jesus' light that we can look at the rest of the world and make judgments on what is right and good. Light in the Old Testament is often a symbol of judgment because it is a light that exposes the darkness and the evil in the hearts of people. Jesus is the true judge who comes with the authority of God the Father to judge the hearts of men and women. John eight thirteen through seventeen. While、well, Jesus is the true judge of all humanity, those who follow Jesus and believe in His resurrection have nothing to fear concerning judgment. We are no longer condemned by our past, but through Jesus, we are given access to new life in His in Him. Romans eight one. Take a moment to thank God for shining His light in your life. Because of Jesus, you can experience the grace and the peace of God in your own heart. Prayer, God, strengthen me with the hope of Your bright light. Pierce through the darkness that tries to keep me from seeing You. Thank you for being the light of the world. I do not have to fear the darkness because you are with me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Scripture. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, "I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life." John eight twelve. 耶稣又对众人说：“我是世界的光，跟从我的，就不在黑暗里走，必要得着生命的光。”约翰福音八十二。Welcome. Right now, invite God into this time of prayer and ask Him to silence any distractions. This is a safe space to have an honest conversation with God. Honor God. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God accept, acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is consuming fire. Hebrews twelve twenty eight through twenty nine. Spend some time giving thanks to God for His faithfulness, and remember the good things He has done for you. My concerns, anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Proverbs twelve twenty five. Take a deep breath and pay attention to what's weighing on your heart. What comes to mind? Share your concerns with God and consider adding them to your prayer list. Thank God, God, I don't ever want to forget your kindness, goodness, and faithfulness toward me. So right now, I bring to mind ways that 
You have shown yourself faithful. As I think about these things, fill me with the gratitude that flows over into every area of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Closing. No prayer is too small for God. Trust that He loves you and cares for you.